gentlemen, MIA. It's all part of the, <laughs> is it all the color, the color coded plan? What is that all about? Yeah, I thought it was going to like be really trippy and give people optical illusion, but. But not so much? Yeah. How are you? I'm good. Record named after your mother? A long time. Tell people about your mother. She, she, she wasn't like my dad and she, she kind of. Your dad's presented as this warrior rebel leader. Yeah, like he was really into ideas and stuff like that and saving the planet and, you know, like revolution and. Blah, blah, blah. And my mum was the opposite. She kind of worked, you know, as a as minimum wage sewing assistant. And she put food on the table because she just wanted to save three people, you know. And I thought that that's just as important. And I think now I wanted to make my album about, I think because I had immigration problem and I was just spending so much time in, you know, third world places, developing places, it just seemed like, I don't know, I was somewhere where it was the future, you know what I mean? When you say immigration problems, you were put on, on a watch list and you were denied entry into the United States, where you were supposed to come make a record? I wasn't like straight up denied, but I was on like some list, like national threat to Homeland Security to be specific, but I didn't really find that out until ages later. So mm -hmm. for 10 months, I didn't really know I was on that list, but I just kind of went from all the codes, like, you know, blue, yellow, red, like purple, whatever. Yeah. But when I had <laughs> purple's really bad. <laughs> the purple's not bad. so bad, but I hit the red list, and that's when it was like, yeah, you know, you, you're like on the on the on the watch list and stuff. And I have like a chip in my passport and everything. Did anybody ever tell you how you got on that list, or for what reason? Just just because who your father was and where you come from? No, they said that I just matched like an identity of like a terrorist. You were brown. That, that they had to eliminate me from being the possible like person that that was on the list. But it's know? interesting. You're you, you're you're a musician. You, like you said, you do have press. You you want to come to work and make a record. Were you going to work with Timbaland? Was that the plan? The whole record. Yeah. You ended up working Not with him anyway. Not the whole record, but I, I was definitely going to start off there and see where it took me. But that's kind of like you know that was like an obvious progression. Mm -hmm. Like I made a ruler, and everyone went, "Wow, she's going to be amazing." If, only she had some dancers and like good hair and worked with Timberland. <laughs> and, you know, and I was like, okay, you know, maybe like, you know, that, that might, that might, you know, <laughs> that might be an option. And it didn't happen, so I just kind of went off and did my own thing. You were going to work with the Three Six Mafia? Yeah. And then that didn't work? I, I, you know what they've done in the past. Let's tell people what, what happened there. It was like the funniest time I had. It was just such a weird culture shock because they're as American as you can get. And like at that time, they were still carrying the Oscar in their like backpack. And <laughs> they just have it. Even like when they go to the loo, they still have their Oscar with them. Cause they just, yeah, it was like, you know, they were yeah. flying and stuff and they were, they were going to do the show, MTV show and stuff. And they were really obsessed with Paris Hilton, you know, at the time I met them. So it was really funny. like just trying to talk about stuff and what I was doing and, you know, me trying to play them the music that I'd made with, like, you know, a dude who made a violin on a coconut and, you know, trying to make sense of... So there's these people in Africa and, you know, there's mute rappers and, you know, this is, this is kind of how music's going back, back in the third world and they're like, shalang a lang a lang like, where's that? <laughs> Listen, Where I'm not you gonna say lie. you come from? <laughs> Three Six Mafia do not represent women very well. Uh, in, and when, yeah, when I heard that you were going to work with Paris them, because Paris had been in there, that they were really obsessed, and they were like, "Man, what you need to do is just sing about sex." And then I was like, "Look, I could have done that on my first album, but I didn't. You know, right. it's for a reason." And um, so they tried to sort of try and get me to do this, and it just didn't go nowhere. When you're in a position that you are, people are afraid to tell you what they think you should do. This is why most artists get surrounded by no, yes people. People tell me all the time do what they? to do, yeah. But I mean, no, <laughs> but the kind of guidance that you would respect. Lots of people yeah. can tell you to, to wear a shorter skirt <clears> and slot it up a little, but that's not what the people who pull you aside and say, here's where you should go. Like, do you look at another artist and say, I want a career like Patti Smith. I want a career like so-and-so. You were on the road with Gwen Stefani, which she went through a major transition in her life. Gwen Stefani on stage today is a million miles away from the woman Gwen Stefani was on stage 15 years ago. It, and I wonder, do you get that kind of guidance in your life that you, to go down the road you want? 
No, but I think luckily, like, if you really had a life like, you know, whatever people uh, write about when they talk about me, then you kind of don't need it because it really is about reducing it down to, like, your basic motivation. I think for me, it's, it's kind of always been about survival and stuff. So, you know, I remember when, when I was really coming from, you know, was living in Sri Lanka and stuff like that, I, I always used to think there's no way someone from up there is going to give a shit about someone like, you know, someone like me who's down here or you're ever going to get an opportunity to, like, voice yourself or something. So then when you get a chance, you have to remember that and then you have to go and find the kids that are thinking like the way you thought mm -hmm. 20 years ago. When and your first record, The Anger, was so well placed, the war was going where it was going. I mean, today, lots has happened in, in, in England since then, yeah. politically, and you're talking culturally earlier. How, is that still uh, eating away at you? In 2002, 3, 4, 5, I think it was important to just be that brave and, and say, yeah, actually, I, I am an artist, I'm going to stick my neck out to get something across, that there are limitations on freedom of speech, and <clears throat> and then you, you're ready to suffer the consequences, what they're, whatever they are. Mm -hmm. And, you know, th I did that. But I don't think now it's, it's a time to talk about politics because what more can I say after we've, we've seen Saddam being hung on YouTube? You know, there's nothing it's I need bit, to say. It's a bit surreal at that yeah. point, isn't and, it? And I never came at it like, oh, I'm a politician, you should listen to me. It wasn't like that. It was like... I'm a civilian, this is what happened to me, this is how complicated the situation is, this is why you can't present this problem to the planet and to the, the population and be like, look, it's black and white, good and evil, this is how we're gonna do it. You know, you just can't present that situation like that. And, because you've got loads of people in the middle like me who are totally confused, that are made up of so many different cultures and experiences, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think you kind of use yourself as a vehicle to point that out, but, now, I don't think that's, you know, it's, it's down to the people who are good at politics, who have studied politics, who are actually experts in that, to take it further than that. There you go. Name record is called Kella. Ladies and gentlemen, MIA. Nice to see you. Thank you. MIA.